Darrell Jazz Johnson, Gospel Herald, CitySportsReport.com, here with ESPN analyst John Barry. John, how are you doing today? Good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Uh, let's talk about the NBA in general. Uh, who has surprised you in the league so far? Who has disappointed you? Uh, well, there's quite a few different things. I mean, uh, on a personal note, Anthony Davis, I, I think, is one of the great stories, what he's been able to do. I, I think the Olympic experience uh, did a lot for him, the USA basketball, and he's just taken off. I mean, he's one of the uh, most fun guys to watch in the NBA. His ability, he's so unique to be able to block shots, rebound, play like a guard, shoot the basketball, uh, an incredible impact on his team. I love watching him. Uh, you know, I think team-wise, the Charlotte Hornets a, a surprise to me that have taken a step back. Uh, I thought that was a team that was ready to maybe take a step forward, maybe to the top four of the Eastern Conference. Uh, it hasn't gone that well. Uh, the Lance Stevenson uh, experiment has not gone well for them, so we'll see what happens talking about trades. And then, obviously, the Knicks have been disappointing. I mean, no one would have expected that this team would be 5-25 and 25 at this point. Uh, obviously, a new system, very difficult to implement that. They've got a lot of free agents on the, on the ball club. Uh, but surprising that they're 5-25. and 25. Why do you think the Knicks are playing so poorly this season? Well, again, you're putting in a system that uh, only a couple teams really have run effectively throughout the course of the NBA. Uh, Phil Jackson has had assistants that have gone on to other teams and tried to implement it, and it hasn't worked. Kurt Rambis was in Minnesota, Jim Clemens in Dallas. Uh, for whatever the reason, there's some magic to it to be able to teach it. And uh, it hasn't really worked here. I don't think the Knicks really have the kind of personnel uh, that can run that. Uh, again, it's a, it's a long-term plan for the New York Knicks. There's, like I said, nine free agents. We'll see a lot of turnover come next year. There'll be a lot of new different players. Uh, they're going to go with it, and we're going to see if it works out for them. Can the Golden State Warriors win an NBA championship this year? Well, they certainly look great now. Uh, Andrew Bogut not not in the lineup right now. When he gets back in there, they're really good defensively. And Steph Curry's got to be an MVP conversation. Klay Thompson's taking his game to another level. They seem to have all the pieces. Now David Lee, a former Nick, is back. He hasn't played basically all year. Uh, so they have a lot of different pieces. Steve Kerr's done a nice job of tweaking that team. They were already pretty good last year, winning 50 games. Uh, but certainly the, the Western Conference, you can throw a lot of those teams in the hat. Uh, who's going to come out of there? I don't know. A lot of strong teams in the West. Final question. What are some of your Christmas memories, both on and off the court? Uh, you know, I only played on Christmas one day. I remember I was with the Pistons. We played down in Orlando. Uh, brought my family down there. It was really fun to do. Uh, it's an honor, you know, and uh, now we have five games on Christmas Day. It kind of seems like Christmas Day is opening day of the NBA. You know, football is winding down. We know how... People love football, and, and understandably so. It's great, but this seems to be like opening day of the NBA. So it's a great chance for people that really haven't watched the league to tune in. We get some great matchups today. Uh, you get to see a Washington Wizards team that not a lot of people know about. John Wall playing as good as any point guard in the NBA. They got a nice team. Uh, so it's, it's a great day for NBA basketball and uh, open some presents at the same time. So it's all good. Thanks a lot, John. Merry Christmas again. You got it. Appreciate it.